många som döper här vart år då? Good morning! <laughs> Oj! Åh, oh, nej det bara. Men när du börjar att intervjua en person så är det ju akkurat lika mycket värt att det jag är. Klar inte mer. Vad slags liv är det? Men jobben var nu är att ha råd i Norge och påverka andra. Engagera folk och bry sig. Det är jobben. Hi everybody, we are the team from Sweatshop. A year has passed since we returned from Cambodia and I have to admit that it was a pretty tough experience for us behind the camera and it has to be even tougher for you guys that were in front of the camera. What made the most impact on me was to talk to the girls on the shelter. To listen to their stories and everything they have been through made a strong impact on me. When I was 19 years old and told them that their mother døde fordi hun sultet i hjernen. Moren hennes døde ikke av fordi hun hadde sykdom eller fordi hun ble drept. Hun sultet i hjernen fordi hun ikke hadde penger til mat. Our series have had an impact on people worldwide. More than 8 million have seen Sweatshop Deadly Fashion and the series have been shown on festivals and events all over the world. From Argentina to Czech Republic to New Zealand, to Canada. And earlier this year, we won the Golden Award, which is uh, the Norwegian Emmys for Best Reality Show. And we are actually the first web series ever to win this award in Norway. And the winner is... Er Sweatshop Dødsbillig Nota. And this is like much a prize to all the textilarbeiders there out in the world who live in poverty and unfairness. Since day one, we have used the massive attention to bring focus to the cause. The garment workers around the world should be paid a living wage. Nå kjemper tenåringen for å gi tekstilarbeidere bedre lønn, og er mektig provosert over Norges største kleskjede. Noen må bli sinne. Noen må faktisk gå ut og sette ned foten og si nei, hva er dette her for noe? Vi trenger å endre på en industri som enda i 2014 ikke fungerer som den skal. Jeg synes at siden dere har så mye makt, makt så bruk den makten. Og jeg har fått høre det fra jeg var liten at fattige barn, det, det bare er sånn. Men hva hvis ikke jeg vil at det skal være sånn? Tanken på at de har det sånn enda, sliter jeg med enda. Garment workers still suffer from terrible working conditions. They can't afford a decent place to live, health care, education or enough food. They are still not paid a living wage. Yeah, we need to keep telling the world about this and that is why we want to make another season of Sweatshop. In the next season we are on a hunt for a living wage. We will knock on the factory doors, talk to the activists and meet the garment workers and look for solutions. But to do this, we need your help. We need your help to make next season, to pay for equipment, travel expenses, post-production. Every pledge will help us. We know that you care. 